Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Hey, you know, one of the books that I read uh, when I was in school was They Like Jesus, But Not the Church. It's kind of a harsh title. It was a harsh read. And I think when you go through the book, you see uh, a lot of the stereotypes that people say about church. Because not everybody likes church, right? It's a reality. Not everybody likes church. Uh, why? Um, hypocrisy, right? Hypocrisy always comes up. Uh, another one that always comes up is that, you know, church just starts to become more and more like high school. Like it gets clicky. People aren't always included in everything. Uh, there's gossiping, there's backstabbing. And uh, that's just really too bad that that happens. But it, it happens wherever groups of people get together. You know, it happens in our other groups uh, during the week. It happens at work. It's just something that happens when people get together, which is really too bad because that is not what Jesus calls the church to be. That is not the example that Jesus lays out for us. You know, one of the things that he prays in John 17, uh, when he is preparing himself to go to the cross, Jesus prays to God and he says, make them one, right? Make the church, make the church one just as we are one. So the church is supposed to be as close and as together and as tight knit as the Trinity. We are not called to be fragmented or broken. And so that is something that we should always be working on. You know, if the church could achieve unity, it could change the political and social structure of society with no trouble at all. The world would be a beautiful place to live in if the church could work together. And regrettably, we don't. We're, we're humans and so we have a divisive spirit. We have jealousy, we fight, we are suspicious of one another. So how do we begin this? How do we begin to draw closer to each other. We're going to talk a lot about that uh, this Sunday at church, but I want to just give you like one thing and, and that would be, you know what, it just, it starts with just being real with each other, being real, being vulnerable with each other, being open, being honest with each other. So one of those things we should do is share actual hurts, share actual hangups. You know, when people get together uh, in, in prayer groups or Bible studies and we start going around the room, start listening to those prayers. People are guarding their hearts in those times. People are not sharing their own lives. P listen to prayer requests. They're going to be about your grandparents, right? Our neighbors, people we know, our pets. We'll share prayer requests for anybody but ourselves because we're so afraid to let our guard down. We're so afraid because we're all thinking if they really knew me, they wouldn't like me. That's not how church should be. We won't grow as a body. We won't grow as individuals until we start being real and open with each other. The Bible says, confess your sins to one another and thus build yourselves up. And if we can start to begin to share our hurts and share our hangups, then I think the church's responsibility, then your responsibility, once you hear that prayer request, is to keep that person's confidence, right? Keep that person's confidence and then begin to encourage them. The church shouldn't be a place for perfect people. The church is a place for broken people and we encourage one another. And it's through that encouragement and through that support that we grow and that we mature. For the unity that Christ prays for, we have to have mutual respect and a mutual willingness to give and to surrender to each other and to Jesus. We want to talk all about that this Sunday at Walden Church. We're talking about the more and better life. John 10, 10, Jesus says he has come to bring you life so that you can have it to the full do you want that kind of life? Do you want a full life? Do you want a better life? Well, that's what we'll be talking about Sunday morning at Walden Community Church. We have two services, one at 9.30 with our choir and one at 11 with our contemporary worship team. I hope to see you guys there. Have a great week.